Well, greetings out there in YouTube land. Uh, today we're at a little uh, car and hot rod get together at Rudy's Barbecue, just off Interstate 10. And it's not really a big car show. The, I don't know, probably eight or 10 nice cars showed up, but I thought I'd give you a look at them, if you can hear me. So let's start off with a walk around of this absolutely immaculate Probably what 58 or 59 Chevrolet Apache truck. I'm not sure why it doesn't have a tailgate. It'd probably look better if he did. But the wood in the bed is gorgeous. Nice finish on this car. The the trim is just flawless. Large diameter wheels with sort of O-ring tires, which is sort of the, the current craze large rear window look at all that flawless trim just don't see that very often that that's the kind of extra finishing work that a lot of people don't do good looking dash just slightly modified comfortable looking seats looks like the sheet metal is pretty darn straight and then we have the coup de gras here. Big block Chevy, air conditioner, good looking air cleaner, cool air inlets, champion aluminum radiator from Arizona. Look at the firewall, nicely detailed. You know, somebody took their time on this and didn't cut any corners. Let's look at the front end. I get my shadow out of the way. Just flawless chrome. This is one of the nicest trucks from that era, which is one of my favorites, like from about 55 to 59. I thought the Chevy trucks were just exceptional. Well, there you go. Thought I'd share this with you. Let's go see if there are any other interesting vehicles. How about this neat old uh, Plymouth two-door? I'm not sure what year this is. It's more like 49 to 52. Once again, all the probably stainless steel trim is in perfect shape. Beautiful dash. This, this has been just nicely restored. It's a fairly good paint job. <laughs> Wide white walls. Ah, the original engine, but with two two barrel carburetors. Really nicely done. Looks like original front grille. And it hasn't been replated, neither has the bumper. Well, I just found out from the owner it's a 1950. So the guess was pretty much on the money. Just a really nice restored old Plymouth. I used to see these things all the time on the road in the old days and now you hardly see any. And I think what that tells us is some cars people just form a real attachment for and they keep and other cars just don't seem to form that attachment and they just they're just cars. So when they wear out they end up being salvaged and not rebuilt which is kind of sad. You've got to take in the whole scene here. And I know that YouTube's going to bounce this because of the background music uh, copyright infraction. But I'll have them remove the background music and uh, hopefully we'll be able to show this video. Okay? Talk about a personalized car. He probably has a set of accessories for each holiday. I mean, this takes time and ingenuity to come up with all the embellishments. Oh, the mechanics at work. And his little dog Spot. Pretty cute. Well, for all you Ford lovers out there, um, here we have a early to mid 50s Ford. Uh, F100, really pretty color, nice paint job, 
red painted steel wheels with the dog dish hubcaps. Very stock looking interior with the always necessary shrunken head. Good looking upholstery. A step plate for when you reach in for the groceries from Costco. Nice looking bed. It sure didn't look like that when the trucks were new. I like that, the louvers on the tailgate. Not sure why the doors are ajar. And why the hood is ajar. Well, I thought you'd get a kick out of it. Nice looking old Ford truck. Looks like one of the attendees is getting ready to take off. 327. Three twos. Rochester's. Good looking car, he drives it a bunch. This is important. Why have them if you're not going to drive them? The background's mine, a 34 Ford truck. And it looks like his partner in crime is getting ready to start up. This is a 302 with three twos. This guy's driven it. He's told me it's like 50 to 60,000 miles, which is great. So let's bid them farewell. I've already featured my own truck in a couple of videos, so I won't bore you with it, but uh, it's what we drove today. Still running perfectly, and uh, since I put on that uh, high rise with the two fours, I get way better gas mileage and a huge improvement in performance. So there it is. How about this for just a beautifully restored old Hudson two-door sedan? I like the colors on this. Kind of the beige and darker brown. Really nice dash. Look at that interior. Perfect for the drive-in movie. Wood graining on the trim panels, the inserts that go around the window. Let's walk all the way around. Good looking car. Nice straight trim on the hood. Wide white walls. Immaculate with the Hudson hubcaps. Good looking front end. All in all, a really nice straight car. Here we have what I believe is a 1958 Chevy short bed step side pickup with the large rear window. Looks like it's had a fair amount of body work. Not a show car, but a really nice driver it appears. Unbroken windshield, which is always nice. Good looking front end. Looks like it's all original and not replated. Remember in 58, they went to the quad headlights, both on the cars and the trucks. Uh oh. Looks like somebody caught a rock on the freeway. Kind of an unusual instrument cluster. It looks just like a black screen, which I have a feeling when you turn on the key, gauges um, mysteriously and digitally appear on the screen. Not much in here besides a radio, but let's face it, simpler is always better. Got the hat. What more could you ask for? Nice looking old truck. Diamond plate on the floor of the bed, which is pretty practical. How about this? Uh, just beautiful. 33 or 34 Ford. 
It's kind of interesting where you cut a viewport in the side of the hood, uh, the side panels, for what looks like a ramjet uh, Chevy engine. Very expensive wheels. Beautiful chop top. I have a feeling this is a fiberglass car. It's so perfect. Let's look here where it's worn. Mm, I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. 33 Ford. Look at the gauges. Nice job. The aircraft switch panel. We've seen this car before. I think at the Twin Peaks car show. Look at those wheels. Those cost more than my first car cost. And worth it. Just beautifully done. Beautiful. All it needs is my name on the title, as the saying goes. Well, it's starting to get kind of hot out here in the sun. So I think it's time to jump into the mighty 34 Ford truck and head for home to pick up the loving spouse so that we can go eat. Maybe we'll come back here to Rudy's, okay? But regardless, I hope you come back uh, to our channel. Uh, we'll be posting more videos in the near future. So thanks for watching and bye for now.